Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the last problem of today's weekly contest, make cost of paths equal in binary tree. The problem states that you are given an integer n representing the number of nodes in a perfect binary tree. The tree is rooted at node 1 and the children of node i is i 2 cross i and 2 cross i plus 1. So left child is 2 cross i, right child is 2 cross i plus 1. Each node has a cost associated with it and it is represented by the given cost array. Now you are allowed to implement the cost of any node by one any number of times, right? Yet return the minimum number of increments you have to make such that the cost of path from root to each leaf node is equal, right? So let's take an example. Let's say this is a tree. Now here you can see the root node is one, right? and uh, the right child and left child is 2 cross i plus 1 and 2 cross i. So here you can see the left child of 1 is 2 cross i which is 2, left child of 2 is 2 cross i which is 4, similarly right child of 1 is 2 cross i plus 1 which is 3, right child of 3 is uh, 3 cross 2 plus 1 which is 7, right. So this is a given perfect binary tree and these are the costs. So cost of 1 is 1, cost of 2 is 5, cost of 3 is 2 and so on and so forth. Now here you can notice that the cost of these root to leaf is actually 1 plus 5 plus 2 which is 8. Similarly the cost of this root to leaf 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. So they are not equal, right? So the motive is to make the cost of each of these 4 root to leaf path equal, right? So one way to do that is just make the no, every node at every level equal. So in this case, uh, you can increment this to three in one operation. You can increment this one as well to three in two operations. So in total that three operations, everything here is three. Similarly, you can increment this to five by applying three operations here. So again, everything here is five in three operation. So in total, six operations are required and each node at each level are equal. So therefore, you can uh, like figure it out yourself that each root to leaf path sum will, also, will always be equal, right? So hope the given example makes sense. Now, how to solve this? As with every tree problem, we will start with uh, uh, the smallest tree or the uh, possible, right? So let's say this is the smallest tree, right? And we have to find out what is the total increments required to make the path sum of all root to leaf equal. So th there are only two path. This is first path, right? And this is the second path. So you have to make we have to make these two path sum equal. So the path sum of first one is x plus y. Path one of second one is x plus z. Right, and given that y is greater than z, so what you can do, or what is the only possible choice here? Only possible choice is you have to increment this z to y by incrementing it y minus z number of times. Right, so these many number of times you will increment this z and make it y, and finally the sum would be x plus y in both the scenarios. Right now, after performing these many number of operation, you can replace this entire tree with a single node and say that the value of this node is x plus y. Now, why this is the case? Because you have already taken care of the fact that every path that will start from here will always have x plus y sum, right? So whatever you want to contribute to any of the below, you can simply contribute here and everything will be propagated downwards for you, right? So what we can simply do, we can simply replace this particular structure with a single node with a value of x plus y where x plus y denotes the value after you make the path sum equal when the tree was rooted at this particular node, right? So we will apply the exact same trick 
and see how uh, this problem is straightforward right so let's try that now here this is a tree that we have with us we will start with uh, the leaf nodes again so this is the first tree we are trying to tackle right now here what we will say this value is 2 this value is 3 so it will return 3 right this will return true now this node will say okay the left one has a value 2 right one has a value 3 left one need one more value right so it will say that I will require to increment one operation I will require one operation to increment this 2 to 3 right and now after we have done this we know every path here is of value 4 so we'll simply replace this with value 4 and get rid of uh, all this structure right now again the same thing will apply here this will return 7 right and this will return 1 now you can see this is falls short by 6 so what we will say okay uh, we will apply 6 more operation and make it 7 right now I will get rid of all of these again and uh, replace this entire replace this 3 with 10 because everything below is 7 and the current node value is 3 so everything starting at here would have value 10 same goes with here this will return 2 this will return 3 we will require one operation to make it to 3 right and uh, we will again remove everything here and replace 5 with 8 right so now this is 8 and in very same fashion this would be 6 in 2 more operation and this would become 12 right now again same thing this will return 4 this will return 10 right you will see okay this is 4 this is 10 this falls short by 6 so I have to add 6 here so I will just uh, apply 6 more operation right and uh, finally I can get rid of this entire structure right and say that everything below is 14 right same way again we will come here and uh, we see that it is uh, fall short by 4 right so we will apply 4 operations here right and uh, make it 12 and finally we'll say everything below is actually 16 right everything below is 16 and we get rid of this entire structure now finally we are just left with this simple tree we'll say this is returning 14 this is returning 16 this is fall short by 2 add 2 more operation to make it 16 and completely get rid of this entire tree and we'll have just one node which have value 2 plus 16 which is 18 so what does it this 18 means this 18 means that the sum of every path is now 18 right so hope this entire solution makes sense you can uh, like how we approach this just to reiterate that particular fact we as always whenever a tree problem comes, you should always try to solve this for the smallest tree and if you are able to convert this structure into a single node with uh, some property then you can simply do a small like similar DFS or BFS and solve this problem starting from leaf to the root right so now next we will looking at the code but the if you have uh, understood the solution I would strongly encourage you to pause the video and try to code this entire solution by yourself this is very straightforward this just, this just includes one DFS wherein we will start from the leaf and keep on accumulating your results right so this is the code now here what we are doing we are initializing our result to zero uh, and then we are calling this DFS with starting with the root the given cost array and the given number of nodes and finally we, result, we return result because re after performing this DFS this result would contain the number of operations required now inside DFS what we are checking if, if it is a leaf node we know we have to return the current cost right if it is not a leaf node we will 
call the DFS on the left and the right child, get their values, and then whatever their difference is will be the number of operations we need to like we need to make, right? So we just return, we just add it to our result. After that, we know whatever was the max plus the cost of current node that will be the value of every path starting at this particular root. So we'll return that particular value. And after the end of this DFS, we will, this result will contain the number of operations that we have applied in the entire journey that will actually denote the number of operations required to make the path sum from leaf to from root to leaf equal for every leaf. Finally, this each leaf is very straightforward. We are just checking whether x cross 2 is greater than or not. Basically, if you are at a particular node, you can just say check uh, whether this left child exists or not. So left child of this node is 8. So whether, it, whether 8 exists or not. 8, if it exists, it means it has left child. It means it is not the leaf node, right? So that's what we are doing here. So hope this entire solution makes sense. If you have any doubts in this particular problem, please post them in the comment section below. I will be able to answer. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.